Ladies and gentlemen, the Emperor of Lassie. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming. If you notice, I have two Lassie here that have volunteered their time to be with me this time. Note that these Lassie have volunteered of their own free will. I even asked them, are they sure? And they told me, yes. My setting is a bit different as well. As you can see, I am back on reach in a new setting. Do you see the crystal above? Looks nice, doesn't it? But anyways, here's the main reason why I am here today. Unlike my other speeches, which I normally do alone, this is the first ever vital speech that I will be giving to you today. Note that the, the vital speech is not to be taken lightly, is meant to be taken very seriously, and of course, is meant to alert you all to the evidence at hand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, unlike other speeches, I will be showing you sufficient evidence against a clan that, ha that I've been dealing with for a month now. And frankly, me and the guys are sick and tired of them in every single way. And if you want to know why, stick around, grab a seat, eat some popcorn, because after this one, you'll be given a choice on whether to believe the evidence in front of you or dismiss it entirely. It's free will, so it's up to you. But anyways, I start with a man called Brightside 13. And the reason why I met him is because of my cousin, who wanted to introduce him to me. And he was interested in a 1v1 against me. And I checked his stats prior, and he is the same, but not be but better than me. And of course, we had our match, and admittedly, he did what my ass fair and square. Congratulations. So, I found out that he was a clan leader called, and he was leading the UNSC Leviathan clan. And um, to spare you the boring details and everything, it's just like mostly every other militarized clan out there, you know, with ODSTs, Spartans, Marines, pretty much the same average stuff, you know? Because I kind of see it more often than ever, you know? But anyways, right? He wanted to do some kind of partnership with me and everything. And yeah, I told him that I can't really trust him just yet. He did get a little upset at that, but yet when I explained that I, I just met you, I don't know you that well and everything, I think he understood. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell though. He is pretty well-spoken, right? Just like me, if not better though. But yes, something in my gut is telling me that this will not end well. But I don't have any, enough evidence at that time to even prove that. So there comes a post, right? Which I've written, you know, during this encounter. Ally or enemy. And the reason why I put that new segment as ally or enemy is because before we met the Leviathan clan though, our most wanted Psycho Menace returned, right? As as you saw in one of my videos, selling the score, right? And he wanted to do like 1v1s against us and then he says he's gonna destroy us. And basically, as you saw though, uh, yeah, we kind of mopped the floor with him, you know? But anyways though, that's not the point. The point is this. I mean, because of that recent Psycom attack we had lately though, we thought that Aerox, right? sent this guy, you know, to come after us. But we don't have enough evidence to prove that yet. 
So, right, you have to understand that at first, though, we thought that, you know, Psycom sent you, you know, to us. Because they really don't like us too much because of the fact that they say that we are in their way or something like that. I don't know what that means, and frankly, I don't quite understand why, but it is what it is. That's all I'm going to say. But anyways, right? After I got to know him a little bit better and everything, you know, I mean, he didn't, he's really nice. I mean, I'll admit that though. In his real life though, he, he and I would have been pretty good friends, okay? So, he's, he, so he was really nice and everything. And then I thought, damn, okay, I was wrong. And yes, I did admit that in the second news post called Clearing Things Up. Basically, though, all, all that news post was saying is that, you know, that I was paranoid and stuff, and maybe I should have just had more faith in him, that sort of thing. I mean, please note that I will not remember every single piece of evidence I recorded or every single conversation, text, and all that stuff. Basically, though, I'm just going to gather all the relevant stuff, basically the most important, because all the other pieces of evidence that I did look at it's kind of like, you know, add-ons and all that stuff. Basically, it's just nothing. That's all. But anyways, um, let's move on. So, Brightside and his Leviathan clan decided to form a partnership with us. Not an alliance, a partnership, and drew up some, you know, details and contracts. Basically, though, we told them our usual three rules and everything. You know, if you see any members you like, don't attempt to make them yours. Number two, same thing as number one, but with maps. And number three, if you help us, we will help you. You know, treat us fairly, and we will treat you fairly. That's what we So, we did have one request of him, though, you know, that we wanted to do an MLG, you know, one of these days. He said no at first, but yet I never got an exact reason why. So, I thought, okay, maybe his plan doesn't play MLG, though. But yet, you know, we're willing to do what he wants to do, you know? Just so that we can make him happy and everything. And we thought that in return, though, he could just, you know, do this one thing one time and then he doesn't have to do it again. So, the second time I asked him, you know, look, can we just do MLG later on and everything? It doesn't have to be now. Again, he tells me no. A few days later, I asked him one more time. I got the same response. So, this whole partnership thing, you know, you know, this whole deal thing, you know, we went, we went down for a few days before we actually agreed in the end. Because quite frankly though, the only reason why we agreed is because we were sick and just tired of asking him over and over again. That's just pretty much it. But anyways, though, after this whole partnership thing, you know, we got into a few activities with them, you know, friendly activities, you know, you know, like custom games and all that stuff, you know, our clan versus their clan, see how we do. But before that, though, um, you know, they explained that, you know, that this is how what they do and all that stuff, that they introduced themselves to us. And I'm like, OK, sure. So we had a series of friendly competitions, you know, there was the first match on Cambridge. They wall up this pretty good, and my buddy Jug, you know, my idolman at the time, was doing really, really well with the Wraith, though. And the clan even congratulated him on the Wraith, right? You know, for all of his hard work and everything. And I thought, damn, Jug got some praise and recognition. But yet, somehow, right, on the second match, though, the vehicles are gone. And I'm thinking, why would they even take away the vehicles in the first place if they acknowledged the fact that, you know, Jug was pretty good with vehicles, you know? I mean, I thought that, you know, because they kind of walloped us a little bit easily the last game, though, it, they could easily do it again on this game. But no, they had to use that to their advantage against us and be like, okay, fine. It's still company rules, so sure. So, the second time though, I mean, one of my other guys teabagged and everything, and they wanted an apology for it, which I'm glad they never did, because it kind of, 
we, we were kind of simulating actual matchmaking thing because everybody will get their, you know, share of teabaggers every now and then, even if they're winning or they're losing. It's inevitable, you will meet one of these guys and gals sooner or later. And yet he wants us to apologize for it. And as he plainly puts it, it's all part of training. So we just, so, so, our, so our style of training is to do a simulation of an actual matchmaking game. You know, you have your teabaggers, this and that, yada, yada, yada. But then after the match though, some of my members were feeling a little hurt, you know? And they were telling me that they were not, not used to this and all that stuff. And I told them that this is like, you know, something that we have to get used to though. And this plan is willing to help us get better. Of course, so I had to let one or two of them go because he was like trying annoying one of the guys there to an extent, and yet one of my other guys told him to stop, but he wouldn't listen though. And for the safety of the speech and everything, I will not reveal identities here because of you know protection and all that stuff. But anyways, I had to let one or two of them go because frankly, the anniversary party of my plan, which is October 21st, 2020, is tomorrow. But at that time though, it was like November, you know? But anyways, moving on from there. So I told Brightside, right, you know, about this whole situation thing. But before I even did that though, we had a meeting behind it. So we were talking for like a good 25 to 30 minutes before we decided to end the partnership with Leviathan. And we, act, and we told them the exact reasons why and everything. And this was on the new segment, the Seed Leviathan Partnership Ends. And of course, that post is also back up as well. But anyways, right? We explained to Bryce how we felt throughout this whole ordeal, right? That we were just getting the short end of the straw. And yet, not once has Brightside ever worked with us in matchmaking, you know, put his guys and our guys together in the same team. We never mixed up our clan members, you know, our guys and their guys versus our guys and their guys. Basically, you know, learning from each other and watch what the other does. We never did that. Throughout this whole thing, it was always us against them. And I told them about this and, you know, that I've written about and everything because the public, like you ladies and gentlemen, have, has a right to know what the hell is going on, right? So he got a little bit more upset than usual this time and yet he told me to like to take down the post and all that stuff because he calls it slandering, you know, and they don't appreciate that. But yet I told him this, how can it be slandering if me and, and my two guys here, plus others, were there in the first place. You can't exactly call it slandering if we're actually there. If you want to know the definition of slandering, it's basically saying an outrageous big lie without any proof to back it up. And these two next to me are my witnesses. They can actually vouch that I was there, okay? And the reason why is because they were there too. Enough said, you know? So then afterwards though, you know, things kind of took a turn for the worse. All of a sudden though, some of my guys suddenly defected to Leviathan though. And those were the same guys that defected from me a couple of years back, only to return, you know, that same, same couple of years later, you know? So, I thought that things were gonna go well, but apparently it's not. And then all of a sudden though, I get called to a meeting, right? Even after I get whittled down like this. And then lo and behold, there's those same members that left me in Leviathan uniform, plus my members too in a meeting spot. So their terms were, I should apologize for lying and slandering, and of course lying to my members about everything, and of course to take down the post as well. So, because I knew very well that the Leviathan clan was obviously better skilled in gameplay than I am and my people, I was given a choice. Either give them exactly what they want and confess, or refuse and suffer the consequences later. And in the back of my mind though, I was thinking about them very carefully. So in the end, I had to choose the latter. 
I had to say that I lied to them in order to protect them from future consequences later. But of course, that never happened. You know, the whole future protection thing never happened. Because the reason why is that after the deal was made though, he then flat out told me that he purchased my website. And I thought to myself, what? Why would he even do such a thing like that? And then I told him, no, no deal, you know? And then I decided to walk away after this though. So yeah, I sucker punched him, right? Because of what he just said to me though. Because that website represents my part of my life's work, right? I invested seven years into that website, you know, for the information, you know, the nation, basically everything that was in there, you know? And of course, that website helped me catalog everything that has happened in our clan over the years. And the reason why is because the first three years on my pre-anniversary video kind of filled in the rest of the gaps. So you can say that I was around for a lot longer, 10 years in fact, which will happen tomorrow. But anyways, right? As I was saying, he, I sucker punched him because of what he just said to me though. Because he had no right to do that to my property like that. So, I wondered the possible motives for him trying to purchase my website. Is he trying to shut me up? So that way I won't write the truth about this? Or is it simply because he wants to take control of everything, you know? And yet, at one time though, he told me that there were six other clans before me that he has done this to and everything. But I'm, but I'm not sure if those clans have a website or anything like that though, or I never fought back to begin with because of this injustice. So, um, Bright, I'm gonna show you, you know, the text message you sent me though, saying that I was wrong and all that stuff. And for the record, ladies and gentlemen, this is the exact text message. And as you can see in the little bit at the top of it is a screenshot of the receipt that Mr. Hotrip has purchased himself, which I will explain in Exhibit A. Here's Exhibit A, ladies and gentlemen, Hover.com, which is the exact same web website that he used to purchase my domain. This is the receipt that he used to do so. Basically, there's Hotrip's name and of course the domain right below and the money he spent on it for a whole year. But if you look closely, ladies and gentlemen, though, you notice that it is the Pulse and Saints on the Weebly.com, not .weebly.com. And as you know, those little things can make a difference. So as Exhibit A goes on, you know, you know, checking today's date and all that, as you just saw, basically, though, it, this will prove that they have never had control of my website at all. They just want me to think I like did, so that way I wouldn't have to speak out against all these injustices and everything. In other words, they wanted to shut me up, so that way I wouldn't speak to them anymore. I wouldn't speak out against it. So, Exhibit A may be finished by now. So, Hydrip, let's be honest here. How did you feel? How do you feel right now? You must be looking pretty stupid right about now. Have you even wants to check the domain that you just purchased? And even if you did try to purchase it anyway, Exhibit A proves that you can't control it because I just showed it to you. And Bright, shame on you for even thinking about this in the first place. And yet afterwards, after I sucker punched him, he sent me a war document, right? Which I will label Exhibit B. This is the first war document that he sent me. Basically, that, I, that after a series of friendly competitions though, that, he, that they beat us and everything, that we disrespected him and all that stuff. But how, can we, but how do we disrespect him if we just tell them how we felt about this whole thing in the first place? That's not disrespect, that's criticism. So I read that whole document just to make sure and everything. There were two things that are wrong with it. One, there's a loophole in it in which that if I sign this, I surrender to them. Basically, all I had to do was tear it up though. And because I mentioned this loophole to them, they then issued a second war document against me, saying that if I rip it up this time though, it will count as a surrender to it though. But as you all may have noticed, ladies and gentlemen, look at the way that they addressed us. 
That war document is like a contract. And in a contract, ladies and gentlemen, you have to mention the other person or party or anything else by their full name. He called us in both documents the Sanctum of the Sea. But as you saw in my website and on my clan name over the years, we are the Pulse and Sanctum of the Sea. He, he neglected the fact that there were elites in my clan, though, that we were just a clan of Spartans. But evidently, though, in my, in my history view, though, we started out as an all-elite clan. So in technical terms, though, we were originally known as the post lucy So because he failed to address us properly both times in those contracts, they're technically null and void. So if you're going to draw up something, right, make sure to do it right the first time. Don't be half-assed about it, just like everything else that you've done, okay? Let's be real. So then afterwards, though, he got a little mad, though, okay? And basically gave my members the ultimatum. That if, I, that if they don't leave the sea, something bad is going to happen to them. And that thing is what he calls his shit list. But yet, even before that, though, some of my people, right, were going to them for training. Casting reasonable doubt on my training regimen. And yet, those same people, and yet, those people that did left me there, you know, during that meeting though, were the same people that once served me, okay? And these same people left me four years ago to join their own clan, only for me to discover that it got disbanded a year and a half later. I mean, I'm very sorry that it didn't work out, but. Basically, y'all just traded me for someone even worse. And that's not fair, ladies and gentlemen. So, I will show you a series of text messages here that he sent me, you know, throughout the whole thing. Note that they are not in order and everything, but this is just some of the things that he is trying to do. Some of them includes saying that soon I will not be running the sea, and soon that I will not become a problem. So in other words, He's trying to start my own downfall. And yet, the, the way he speaks and everything, he has a very, very manipulative nature, though. So manipulative that it even caused fear and panic in my own members, too. In which, they told me that if I don't do what he says, though, that Bryce is going to come after them, his members are going to come after them, they're going to do this and that and everything else. I'm not going to take that sitting down, though. Basically, if I do what he does, right? Let's say, let's just say hypothetically speaking. If I comply with it and go ahead with everything, basically, I'm giving them the message saying that it is okay to bully and threaten others, but yet it is not okay for us to speak out against it. That's bullying, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm not going to take that sitting down. And yet, for the, and yet that whole website bullshit they try to pull on me, that's taking it way too far. Okay, so this continued on for the next weeks or so. Basically, we're like halfway through the month, okay? And then all of a sudden, though, I get this. Basically, though, after my members left, though, he somehow managed to got my maps, though. But yet, even before so, he caught wind of what, I, what I'm saying in my chats, though. So basically, though, he convinced some, a few of my people to spy on me. So that way, they could keep him informed of all times, though. So somehow, some way though, he manipulated their minds into working for him instead of working for me though. And yet I tried my best to say that he's the bad guy though, that what he's doing is wrong though. But yet he's got them so convinced and so wrapped up in which they're not, they cannot distinguish even right or wrong anymore. Now they're saying that I'm the bad guy for even speaking out against this in the first place because I posted what happened during those days, you know? And I find it unfair, you know? You guys have, you guys and gals have a right to know what's going on, okay? And yet I'm thinking in the back of my mind, is this some kind of conspiracy that I'm gonna enter to? But yet I can't prove that because it's too early to call. But anyways, right? Some of the maps that he took from me, right? You know, are the ones that I have already built on MCC, you know, when Reach came out. Because, because I lost, I lost the maps on OG Reach, which is the 360 version. 
I didn't care. Le- I didn't care if he defiled like the base or anything like that. I mean, I really don't care about that. But yet, the one map that he decided to show, which mattered to me most of all, is the virtual graveyard of Orphan Cemetery. Now, before I begin that though, let me tell you about the virtual graveyard I built. The idea behind that is that people, you know, who like lost their loved ones and everything, has somebody on the other side of the screen, you know, to remember them for them. The reason why I built that place is because I actually did have a very few to see that did die over the years. And to this day though, I have not once let them go because Because I miss them very much and I love them. Not to mention though that a lot of people even congratulated me on this because, you know, they told me that this is a nice thing for them to do, that this will be great and everything, especially during the time of COVID-19, ladies and gentlemen. We have to do everything virtual because it's not really safe out there to do normal activities at this time. Even though we're doing better, sure, but we still don't know how much this thing can do. But anyway, that's irrelevant. So the point of the virtual graveyard, right? Like I said, you know, this is is that way they could just visit them at any time, right? Even if they are far away or even if they're cremated in real life though. Bright had the nerve to tell me, go visit them in real life. And the reason why I can't is because A, it's too far and I'm not a driver and B, this is, this is the next best thing to remember him by. It's not just the sea that are buried there. It is also my friends and family buried there too, including, uh, including a little sibling who I lost in childbirth. You know? Let me show you the virtual graveyard before. And as you can see though, these are all the graves that I put, right? And the, and the reason why I show you this is because what Bright did to it, right? You might want to avert your eyes. It is both disgusting and unnecessary. So, here goes. I am literally disgusted with these children. How could he do that to them? So what are you trying to say, Bright? That you're a grave defiler now? That you don't care what happens to the dead? Like, are you serious right now? I should literally curse you out right now and to tell you off for doing some stupid shit like that. Because I got family in there. My people got family in there, okay? And the fact of it is that you disrespected the whole entire graveyard tells me that you don't care about nothing but yourself. Same thing with your people. All you care about is yourselves. And then this is like, wrong in in every every sense of the way. And guys, to to prove that that this actually belongs to him though, and I did say that it changes gamer tag tag later later on though, yeah, yeah, I think think I I found it. And the reason why is because in this 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 one, label exhibit C, this one here is an exact match to what I have before. So yeah, I can prove that it came from him though, because he so graciously provided that for me. You know? So, so, in evidence, I sucker punched him again because of that. Why would he even do such a thing like that, you know? Like, what possessed him to even do half the things he did in the first place? And at this point though, ladies and gentlemen, though, he tried to make deals with me and all that stuff and everything. And, and before, before that, that whole graveyard, graveyard thing happened, though, he wanted to make a deal with me in, in a neutral map called Spire. And yet, he, he couldn't even be patient to, to, for, to wait for my, pe- for my person or my representative, right, to come relay the details to me, though. And I'm really like, why? And he joins the party and be like, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Like, he knew that I was going to be told this eventually. But no, he just had to be impatient and join me. But anyways, anyways, that's, that's kind of like how the gist went down. And then here, and then some more text messages from here and there, you know, saying that they will get what we want by the end of this. But for this series of text messages, right? Basically, though, I was forging my map for the anniversary, which is the Palace of Eden, right? I was busy preparing it, though, when I got a call from my cousin saying to join or whatever. 
And I didn't know what, what happened at first. I mean, you know, he said he had some kind of plan or something like that. I mean, that was before I got the text messages from him afterwards. So here's the thing though. As soon as I joined that game, right, the first time, here's what, here's what happened. So I got blasted as soon as I went in there. And I thought to myself, it's on, no problem. And then we held them off, you know, for quite a good while though, you know, we kind of held them back eventually. But um, at, at this point though, they decided to call for help as seen here. Yeah. Like, like, around five, five to seven, seven guys, guys, right? I think, I think it, it was, was five. five. Against okay. two people, which is me and my cousin. Unbelievable, right? And, and yet, yet the, the reason, reason why he, he, he did, did that is because he doesn't, doesn't want to, quote unquote, waste, waste his time. So, so basically, basically though, you know, if, because, because it's not your, your setting, setting and everything, and everything all, all of a sudden though, you had a call for help because, you know, because you don't want to waste your time with us and everything. That's, that's cat, bro. Let's, Let's be honest. honest. That's, that's cat. cat. So, so, what are you trying to say? And, and not, not to mention that, that there was, was another clan that joined later on, on though, but, but yet he kicked, kicked them for some reason, reason though. Same, same way he kicked, he kicked a, a representative of NAFCOM during those, you know, 1v1 one 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 training sessions or whatever we had with him. And, and that, that was like early on. So, yeah. Things, Things have taken, taken a turn, turn for the worse at this point, though. And yeah, yeah I did say to grab some popcorn and to sit for a while because this is not the end of it, though. In fact, fact it gets, gets much, much worse. Then afterwards, though, he started doing assassination attempts on me. He started to send some hit squads or something like that. Basically, though, he gave me the ultimate ultimatum, though. That if I don't take down those posts, even after I told him that that's exactly what happened, that he was going to have to call in more reinforcements. So basically, he was going to involve other clans at this point, you know, including the most recent one, which is Nav Spec War. With, and of course, though, he attacked my people, he attacked one of my PC during that, though. And yet, I've looked through every single trace of an aspect for that I could find. And the only recent one is a video made seven months ago of something. I mean, I didn't, I didn't watch the whole thing, so it was like something, you know? And of course, you know, they tried to give me the ultimate. They tried to give me a chance to walk away from this. And I told him, at this point, whatever deal you want to make, that's out the window. Because you literally went too far this time. And I told him, is winning really that more important to you? And he says that he's not here to play fair, he's here to win. And that confirms it though. This is exactly why I had been suspicious of him this whole time. And exactly the reason why I never trusted him in the first place. Because now, he told me, right, and this was like a week ago, he told me that he did this to nine other clans now. And now I'm thinking, in the past year and a half, right? And now I'm thinking, what else did he do? What did he do to them that was so wrong about them? I will say that maybe half of them deserve it because they're maybe assholes, but I don't think the other half deserved it either, you know? But all in all though, what he did though was unnecessary and very extreme. And, I, and me and my people here are not gonna just sit around and take that anymore. That's it. Enough is enough, okay? So, Bright, I'm going to tell you one more time, okay? Enough, all right? Walk away from all this. Admit that you, you were wrong to go this far, all right? You shouldn't even go this far in the first place because not once, not once ever since we met you that we threatened your members, that we've taken control of your media or whatever, or your discord or anything. Okay? We never even went so far as to publicly humiliate you on YouTube. We never did any of those things. But yet you stepped all over us anyway. Like we're garbage. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, you hear me? And by the way though, 
I did say this to my people though, that SICOM will be, do will be doing whatever it takes to keep us from our anniversary. And to be honest with you, right? You and your people are the next generation of SICOM. And congratulations, Bright. Welcome to the SICOM list. This, this speech here, plus all the evidence that I've gathered here, and of course your name being on that list, serves more than enough to prove my case correct. All I'm saying is that, please make better decisions from now on. And please, treat others fairly next time. I don't care if life is unfair and we should get used to it though. We have a choice. We have a choice to change that. And now before you tell me that I'm lying, that I'm an angel and all that stuff, I'm gonna give you the real down though, okay? I'm not perfect either, okay? Yeah, I lie. Yeah, I did some stupid shit back then. And of course I did admit that I, was, that I wanted to kill Aerox in real life and everything that one time. And the reason why I never did any of that stuff is because, one, I regretted every single bad thing I did, and two, that is not the Lassie way. The Lassie way is, is to do what we can to make sure that we get our message across while maintaining our integrity and honor. You understand that? The day that you did those extreme actions, Bright, was the day that you threw away your honor just for the sake of winning. Winning isn't everything. Do you understand me? I'd rather be a loser who doesn't have nowhere else to go and do anything about it than to be a winner and lose my identity at the same time. As C said, we will be equal to our allies, but superior than our enemies. We may not be strong enough now, but in time, we will be. But for right now though, that's gonna be another time. The 10 year anniversary is tomorrow, and I have much more preparations to do. Will I retire? I don't know. Will we disband? Again, I don't know. That is something that I have to discuss with me and my people. So, for all you ladies and gentlemen out there that have gotten this far and everything else, I now turn to you. Do you believe that he went as far as he did? Or do you, or do you deny everything that I have ever shown you and choose to side with him instead? I really don't care what happens to me now. I really don't care what happens, you know, in, every, in my future and everything. If my death is gonna satisfy you and all that stuff, so be it. At least my message here and our story can now be seen by the general public. Congratulations, the Leviathan Clan. You've been exposed. And now, when this thing grows, a lot more people, including the Halo Clan community, will see you for who you truly are. Disgusting, vile, impatient bullies. An overconfident, overzealous, always get their way bullies. And that ain't cool, bro. That's not cool at all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about enough time I have to do. I have an anniversary to prepare. And of course, my own things to take care of. I'm real tired now, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. And, and you know what, though? It's worth it in the end. Because here's the thing. I used to be scared of you, right? And my people used to be scared of you. But now, I'm not afraid anymore. You understand me? I am not afraid of you anymore. And if I have to, you know, suffer through all this pain and everything, just to do what is right, so be it. I don't care what the hell happens to me at this point. All I know is that I will get justice for all those claims that you have mis... <clears throat> that you have extremely mistreated. You will pay for everything one day. Do you understand me? You are not the best. I am not the best. No one is best at everything. And as soon as you accept that, the sooner you can start treating other people nicely. Because if you continue down this path though, trust me when I tell you this, it's, going to, it's only gonna go down here. 
Ah, God damn it, now I'm stuttering because of you. Because I'm extremely upset at you. But you know what, though? Here's the thing. Will I forgive you for all of this? A lot of you will say no. But you know what? I will forgive you for all the shit you put me through. I'll forgive you for all the shit you put my members through. My friends, my family, what you, what you did to them, everything. All that matters is that I want you to make better choices in the end, okay? We could have been friends, dude. But no, you just had to let your ambition for winning and your overconfidence get the better of you. Why, man? Why do you have to be this way? I'm done, you know? I think this is all I'm going to say. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. And for those of you that are with Leviathan at this moment, though, and as you could all see, though, while I was showing you all the exhibits while I speak, though, you're not going to shut me up anymore. I will speak out against it. And guess what? I did. And with that, thank you all for coming, and please do have a great and safe day. Let's go to see.